my name is Dr. Sunil Bhatt. I am the head of pediatric hematology, oncology, and bone marrow transplantation here at Majumdar Shah Cancer Center. Um, I deal with children uh, less than 18 years of age who have blood disorders and cancers. Um, the cases we uh, we just saw of uh, uh, Chaya Devi, she is a girl who presented with a tumor in the eye. We call it retinoblastoma. It's a uh, it's a relatively common problem seen in children and she presented with uh, swelling in the eye which was unfortunately a little late when she presented. So when she first came to the eye surgeon, she was asked for a surgery but because of unaffordability they went back and couldn't come for the follow up. Uh, we at NH as well as there is a foundation we are linked with called Iksha Foundation and they help children with retinoblastoma. So with help of Iksha Foundation we got in touch with the family again. I requested them to come back for treatment and will take care of the, um, the, the, the treatment here in the NH uh, uh, with the help of Extra Foundation and, and do it free of cost for them. So fortunately they came back after that. So she had a surgery in the eye, that uh, the tumor in the eye was removed and uh, then she continued with chemotherapy after that. Now she has finished her chemotherapy cycles and the tumor is completely gone from the eye. So we expect that she would now have a, she has survived the tumor, she has survived the cancer and we, we hope and we expect her to lead, lead a normal life. The, the tumorous eye which was taken out has been replaced by a prosthesis which is an artificial eye and if you could see uh, you can't really make a difference between the two eyes. Uh, so the message we wanted to convey here is that one is that these eye tumors should never be neglected in children because these the eyes are important for vision. So we should make an attempt to go to the ophthalmologist or the local pediatrician as soon as possible. There's something funny you see in the eye, like a white reflex or a swelling, you should go for checkup and then management. And number two is that most of these malignancies and not only this, but a lot of malignancy, a lot of cancers in children can be cured. And why use the word cure? Cure means they can be cured forever. About 75 to 80 percent of all the childhood cancers can be cured and they can have a normal healthy life later on. So we should try to attempt because a lot of stigma is associated with malignancies, with cancers, especially in children. So we should try and attempt to educate the people that cure is, cure is possible, is available. And our hospital, I am proud to say that we have been able to help a lot of children like this who could not have afforded the treatment, but with help from other, other people and from the help from within the hospital were able to do that. So, can you tell us about the other case, uh, the other case which was with you as well? Yeah. So, the other case, uh, he he was very early on in this, uh, I think about three years ago, three to four years ago, he was diagnosed with uh, what we call as acute myeloid leukemia. Acute myeloid leukemia is a type of blood cancer, but it's the bad variant of blood cancer. It is the more aggressive form of blood cancer. So, he was treated um, at a government hospital. He finished his treatment, but after finishing the treatment, after a few months, this leukemia came back. It's called relapse. So relapse is not a good thing. That means you have failed the first line treatment. You have failed the chemotherapy which you had received first time. 